I felt like something's happened to America, and I felt like it was not, you know, sort of political crisis that we're living through right now was not an event that could not be foreseen. I felt that the roots of it actually went back 30, 40 years. And I wanted to find a way to tell a story that was going to really speak to the philosophical changes at the heart of the system. And I think that those changes have to do with money and the name that I give those changes is finance. So I wanted to tell the story of the rise of finance in America. Past few weeks, the news, the papers, have been filled with nasty words about a pending deal that all of us in this room have been watching pretty closely. Saratoga McDaniel's ongoing bid for Everson Steel, a deal which of course was financed by the money that many of you put up. Now, reading, seeing some of these pieces on the news, you'd think we were like locusts come upon the land. Really, junk in a way is a kind of origin tale, uh, an origin myth about what has become of America. So I'm, I don't really think I'm writing about history. I'm glad that I'm getting a prize about, about writing about history because it is a historical play, so to speak, but I'm really writing about the present. I'm very pleased to be welcoming everyone to join us in celebrating a remarkable, engaged, outraged, and courageous playwright, Ayad Akhtar, and his thrilling, important play, Junk. <laughs> Plays are often, I think, preoccupied with human drama, the internal emotional dramas of people, and are sometimes timid about confronting um, big current events, particularly in the world of business. So I thought it was sort of courageous and interesting to tackle the subject. It's filled with conflict. There was the conflict between the perpetrators of the insider trading and their pursuers, the law enforcement agents that were trying to hold them accountable for what they were doing. And then something that uh, I had captures, I think, so brilliantly in Junk, there was the broader conflict in that these financiers were threatening the established order. And that's a great subject for drama, in my view. I didn't want to write a play that was just a screed against the predations of capital, uh, because I think that we are all beholden to the capitalist system, and I think it's very easy to criticize capitalism, and it's, very easy, it's much easier to enjoy its benefits. But by the same token, we've gotten to a kind of terminus point with our relationship to all this stuff, that if we don't wake up, you know, we're headed nowhere good, fast. <laughs>